Hey everyone, it's Rin. In today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all how to play Glacian most optimally. Y'all want more content like this, more guides, or whatever, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down in the section below, and let's get started with our items. So for our held items, I've been experimenting a bit recently. This has been the set I've been liking. Glacian is a heavy auto attacker despite being a special attack character, so I believe Muscle Band is very strong. I've been running special attack specs because stacking items are one insanely broken and two it helps with the combo a lot for being able to nuke people down. And then for the third item, since you're sitting in the ult a lot, I've been running Buddy Barrier. There's a few options you can run here. You can run Choice Specs slash Wise Glasses if you want more damage. You can run Focus Band if you want more early game presence. You can even run Scope Lens if you want more of a reliance on your auto attacks for the crits there. It's just really up to you. But this has been the set I've been liking. If I end up deciding I want to run it with something else, I'll let you guys know down in the comments below. With that said, let's move on to our skills. Before we started the skills, I just wanted to point out that all of Glacian's auto attacks are special attack, not just their boosted. And then on top of that, she also has base crit rate of 20% at level 9, and I believe 10% at level 5. So her auto attacks are actually insanely strong. You can get a lot of damage out of her just by auto attacking. So you're going to be spamming auto attacks the whole game. With that said, let's move into the skills. So this little blue shield you see around me is very similar to Espeon's shield, where when I get hindranced, uh, I become immune to that hindrance and then also have something happen. In Glacion's case, you become invisible for about 0.5 seconds, I want to say. So this is nice, but it has a 70 second cooldown, so it's a very long cooldown. Now as for Eevee, her boosted auto has nothing special about it, it's just more damage. Obviously her basic attacks are magic, as we said, or special attack, as I said before. But that applies to Glacion as well. Uh, Swift are these four stars you see right here. So just like the other UVs, you get four stars. This Swift, however, applies in your auto attacks. As you can see there, every time I auto attack, I shoot stars. But when I use a boosted auto attack, I shoot two stars. So this is a really good and early lane. It has a really low cooldown and does a lot of damage. You can get a lot of mileage out of muscle band plus this and auto attacking people down. Tail Whip is pretty self-explanatory. It just targets and slows down for a little bit. Not really much to be said there. Use this to harass people a little bit. It's not really that good for last hitting, so if you want to last hit, generally you time your boosted auto attack with two swifts and then you fire it like so. And that's going to be a lot of damage. Once you hit level 4, just like the other evolutions, you evolve into Glaceon. So once you hit Glaceon, your boosted auto attacks will start stacking these ice shards around you, and this will be necessary for your other skills. So we'll start off talking about Icicle Spear. Once you're level 4, you can take either Icicle Spear or Icy Wind. Uh, Icicle Spear is a lock-on skill that fires your ice shards to the enemy you have locked onto. This skill has infinite range, so you can actually fire from across the map. There's funny videos of like taking Koopa Portal and firing across the map and killing people with that and whatnot. Uh, if you don't have any spears, then it'll generate two by just pressing it. So that's interesting to note. Uh, if you use... If you have Ice Shard on cooldown and you use Icicle Spear, it'll lower the cooldown of it. This is also true of Freeze Dry, so that's important for comboing. The spears are AoE, so it'll hit other characters around that area. As you can see here, where it hits all the other enemies. If you kill a target, with the Icicle Spear, the one that you're targeted on, you'll keep the remaining spears like so. You can see I have two remaining spears. Uh, when you get the plus version of Icicle Spear, you also get percentage HP damage, which is extremely strong. So the plus version hitting level 10 on Glacian is very important. Now we've talked about Icicle Spear, let's move on to the other skill you're going to be taking with it, Ice Shard. So Ice Shard is another extremely strong skill and pretty much necessary for this skill. As you can see there, when I press it, every single time I auto attack, I build up Ice Spears over here. And that'll help me use Icicle Spear. It also gives you a move speed buff, it gives you an attack speed buff, and your auto attacks will slow the enemy. So this is pretty good for being able to kite people, you can just sit here, Ice Shard, and kite them like so. And then that'll also build up Icicle Spear so you can fire them at people. On top of this, Ice Shard has another bonus effect. If you use Ice Shard while in the middle of casting either Icy Wind or Icicle Spear, you'll generate spears. So you can see I have spears here, right? But I used Icicle Shard and I got more spears. I went up to 8 there when I only had 6 on me. So this can be used for combos as well. Let's move on to Icy Wind. So Icy Wind is a dash that enhances your auto attack. 
Your next auto attack will have bonus range, as you can see there. And on top of that, it will both slow your enemy and do more damage based off how many crystals you have built up. So if you can build up multiple crystals, it'll do more damage. It's important to note that this acts as an auto attack, so every single one of those crystals can also crit, as you can see there. On the plus version of Icy Wind, it starts doing percentage HP damage as well. So when you start stacking up a lot of ice schools, then it can do a lot of damage. Let's talk about Freeze Dry. Freeze Dry is a projectile that collides with an enemy and causes an explosion, like so. This explosion, if the enemy lingers in it long enough, will freeze the enemy as you can see there. That freeze is essentially a stun. On top of this, Freeze Dry also gives you 50% special attack for I believe it is 4 seconds or so based off my testing. So that's pretty strong as well. That can be used to combo with Icy Wind to attack like that. You can go Freeze Dry first, then you can Icy Wind to get a bunch of damage. Since we're on the topic of combos, let's talk about combos as well. Glacier's bread and butter combo is going to be using Ice Shard to stack up 8 Icicles, then using Icicle Spear, and then using Ice Shard in the middle of it. Like so. If you do this properly, you would want to use Ice Shard towards the end, so that way you can use it to build up more Icicles. Like so, by auto attacking. During that duration, you can see I built up 6 more, so by the time Icicle Spear is up, you can do it again. Fire more off. Now the combo for doing as much damage as possible is going to be once again Ice Sharding for 8 stacks, using Icicle Spear, dropping your ult down, getting a bunch of stacks, using Icicle Spear in here again, using Ice Shard, just sitting in here, getting a bunch of stacks like that. And as you can see, that's a lot of damage. I almost one-shot that Zapdos with that combo. Now that I've showed you how Glaceon and her skills work, let's go ahead and show you guys how to apply this in real gameplay. Glaceon's early game is extremely predicated around your usage of Swift. Swift is your last hit tool, Swift is all your damage in lane, Swift is pretty much how you do anything and get to Glaceon to be able to actually get to level 4. So making sure that you time your Swifts properly, making sure you have your boosted auto attack when you need a last hit with Swift, is going to be very important to playing Glaceon properly in the early game. You can pretty much just spam Tail Whip on cooldown, it's just like 300 damage and it slows for a little bit, it's not that strong. I wouldn't really rely on it too much for last hitting, just use it to harass the enemy a little bit, or maybe lower mobs when you need to DPS them fast before the enemy comes over and takes them. Uh, once you get Icicle Spear, remember that you can generate two spears when you just press the skill and you don't have any spears at the start. And what this will do is it'll allow you to use that and then start stacking up more as Icicle Spears on cooldown. And then you can use Icicle Spear again once you've actually stacked it up, getting essentially a second Icicle Spear off for free. Remember that Icicle Spear hits an AoE, so make sure to target a target that probably won't die that's around a clump so for example a bees maybe target the vespa queen instead of one of the small cone bees because if that target does die icicle spears will stop raining and you won't get as much damage off if you need to blast it or hit the enemy with them moving on to the mid game always keep in mind that icicle spears aoe so you can use this to cleave people in team fights this is a large source of your aoe damage and remember that every single icicle spear once you're in the mid game at level 10 starts doing percentage hp damage you want to try and start stacking your Icicle Spears before you get into fights using Ice Shard, so you can be at 8. You can just fire off your Icicle Spear, maybe throw in your ult afterward, do the combo that I showed you earlier. And just try to stack up Ice Shards on like random crabs that are around you, all that stuff. Uh, Pre-stacking, plus ult, plus Icicle Spear, Icicle Spear, one-shot combo will kill everybody. So make sure you use this. You can take pretty much any fight at this stage of the game. As long as you have your ult, you can just permakite. They'll be slowed in the zone, you'll gain move speed. If you're running the buddy barrier, then you're pretty hard to kill in the first place. And then Ice School Shard will keep you alive with the move speed and slow as well. And your combo also shreds objectives extremely fast. You can kill Zapdos, or at least do half of Zapdos' health in 5 seconds, making it extremely good for flipping. You can do about 80% of Dreadnought's HP with the same combo as well. Always remember that it is an option for you to be able to just rip an objective if the enemy is out of position. One last thing to remember is your Unite move has a 100 second cooldown, which is pretty much the same as Pikachu's. So you can spam it extremely often. You can use it all the time. Use it at every fight. Just dump it. It's fine. You can get off like 6 Unite moves realistically in a game. It is absolutely ridiculous. Once you get to the late game, pretty much everything I said earlier applies here as well. Your Unite move has a really good cooldown, just like Pikachu's. So you can blow it really close to Zapdos, say at like the 250 mark. 
and then still get it back. So this can catch a lot of enemies off guard. Maybe you can make them use one of their ults in retaliation and then you can farm it back and they can't. So that would be really good for you. It'll make you much stronger at the zap fight. You can also use your unite move very early into the zap fight and either kill an enemy member or trade ults with them. And then once you do this, you can go farm your ults back and have it back while they won't. This will essentially put you at an ult advantage. Remember that your ult combo, as stated earlier, does about a half of Zapdos's HP. Obviously, it takes like five seconds or whatever to get the whole combo off, but that's always a strong option for you to be able to shred Zapdos if the enemy is out of position. Also, don't forget, you are an extremely squishy character. So if you do get caught out, it is extremely likely that you will die. If you get caught out by, like, say, a Serena ult, you're probably going to get one shot, so make sure you position accordingly. I hope that guide was informative for you all. If you guys want to help me out, you guys can like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, help me with the algorithm. These videos are hard to make and I feel like they don't quite get the attention that is warranted for them. So if you want to help me out, help get that attention, please help me out and do those things. If you all want to see gameplay of Glaceon, you can check out my Twitch, that'll be down in the description below. I'm going to be playing Glaceon pretty often after the patch because I find her to be very fun. Also going to be playing Buzzwell and making a guide for that, so subscribe if you want to see contents for that or a guide for Buzzwell when that comes out. With all that said, take care.